still little, presently without gas. In a nutshell, that is the 2021 Mini Hardtop 2 Door Cooper SE. The Hardtop 2 Door, Mini's most well-known model, got an electric powertrain instead of its sporty engines. The result is a coupe that has gained a lot of green cred while maintaining its stylish look and exciting performance. The negative aspects are to be expected. We don't recommend this car for families because the interior is cramped, both for passengers and cargo. However, on the off chance that you can manage the absence of room, this little EV works perfectly as a city runabout. High points include acceleration, handling, and braking in particular. Even though we could use more EV range, our real-world tests easily outperformed Mini's 110-mile rating. In a nutshell, this car has personality and is affordable enough to be worth looking at. What drives the hardtop two-door? Driving the Cooper SE is enjoyable. It is compact, quick, and agile. It went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds during our testing. That is quicker than the Hyundai Kona Electric and Chevy Bolt, two fast electric vehicles. Additionally, handling and braking are excellent. The SE is great for navigating curvy roads as well as narrow city streets thanks to its quick pivoting. There are two regenerative braking settings available. Find deals on a hardtop two-door near you. How about the interior? The hardtop two-door's surprising sized doors make it easy to get into and out of the front seats. The driver's seat is fairly accommodating for tall and short drivers alike, however, Drivers with exceptionally long legs may require a little more steering extension. The Lodge's square-shaped shape gives you adequate headroom, and the liberal glass space all over makes for incredible perceivability. We especially like how, when not in use, the rear headrests fold down to completely clear the view of the rear. However, it should come as no surprise that this Mini's rear seat is smaller than the majority of other options. If you intend to transport multiple passengers, they should be child-sized. How is technology? The Mini SE's technology is not groundbreaking. A large circular central hub houses the touchscreen navigation. The screen appears larger than it really is due to this hub. Apple CarPlay connects wirelessly, but it only covers approximately 75% of the screen's width. Android Auto is not available. Our preferred map interface was CarPlay, but Mini's own system is fairly simple to use and has real-time traffic information. We were unimpressed by the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system. It did not have the rich, textured sound that we would expect from a high-end system. Additionally, adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist, two common advanced driving aids, are absent. At this point, they are not even optional. Hyundai and Kia two of its rivals, offer many of these features as standard equipment. How is storage going? You've confused the hardtop 2 entryway with another vehicle assuming you were anticipating incredible utility. Nevertheless, Mini has made the most of the available space. The seats in the back fold flat and split 60 40ths. If you want a little bit more space, 
you can lower the cargo floor, but if you don't fold the back seats, you'll only get 8.7 cubic feet, which is about half the volume of the Chevy Bolt, the next smallest vehicle in the class. The cabin is just as bad. There are no anti-tip cup holders, and the door pockets are too small to even hold a small bottle. The glove box and the center armrest, where the wireless phone charger is kept, are the only covered storage options. Although there are car seat anchors in the back that are simple to find, installing a small seat back there will require some strength. Which two-door hardtop is recommended? The Cooper SE's low price is a big part of its appeal, and the base signature trim level is the best way to take advantage of that. Models with a hardtop and two doors The 2021 Mini Cooper SE is available in three trim levels. The well-equipped signature is the first model, followed by the more technologically advanced Signature Plus.